Hey, what's going on, dude? Soldiers for back here with more goddamn metal for your asses. Got a couple of fucking pickups here. It's been a while since I've done a pickup video, it feels like. One of these I got from Nuclear War Now. The other one I got straight from the fucking band. I am very happy to have this. You'll know one of these because I shared it on the fucking community page if you follow that bullshit. But all right, we'll start right here from fucking Nuclear War Now, man. Got this one, was browsing through. Found a couple of things I like there. Uh, I'm not reviewing all of that here, but uh, this was a band I stumbled across. Somehow this one eluded me. We got Baphomet, that is B-A-F-O-M-E-T, with F-O-A-D-I-F. And uh, Baphomet, B-A-F-O-M-E-T, and the album, I'm assuming F-O-A-D-I-F is, stands for Fuck Off and Die in Fire. I have to assume without reading anything like that in the fucking uh, lighter notes. I totally went with this one because you know sometimes an album cover just fucking speaks to you. Anytime you see the fucking Bathory goat with a leather jacket, I see bullets and chains and shit like that. Had to take it to YouTube and fucking check it out, man. And I jammed it and it is Blackened Speed Metal. The band is from Japan. This is their first full-length album in 2022. They have two full-lengths. They have some splits. Very common for... I, I notice splits are way more common. They do happen in the United States, but it's way more common with bands from, like, the Asian countries, Australia, especially South America. They do that shit a lot. It's just something I picked up on. Call me intuitive. Uh, they have a lot of demos as well. But, uh, yeah. Baphomet with Fuck Off and Die in Fire. F-O-A-D-I-F. Again, got this from Nuclear War Now. Just came in with a couple of other things. And yeah, just I was browsing through their, th uh, their website. I had some other things I wanted to get. This one popped up, and I was like, what's that all about? Took it to YouTube. Checked it out, man. Some pretty quality, nasty, black and speed metal for the most part. I pulled the trigger after hearing the first couple of tracks. Um, because there are... I, have, I always do fair fucking reviews. I don't fucking bullshit. There are things on this that I don't like. There are moments here where this thing kind of breaks away from the black and speed metal, which got me going in the first place and taps more into what I could best describe as being more power metalish, you know? And that sort of shit, if you follow my content here, that is not my cup of tea really at all. Tracks like Satanico Heavy Metal and uh, Burning High, for instance, are not my thing. I don't absolutely hate it, it's not unlistenable. But especially when I'm in the mood for what this album starts out as, is that nasty black and speed stuff. Those tracks, you know, the ones I just mentioned, are more of that kind of big chord sing-along style. It taps a little too heavy into the KK's Priest, even the lamer side of fucking Judas Priest. So it, just for me, that's just not really my thing. I've never been a power metal guy. Always thought it sounded cheeseball. Again, don't hate it. It's just I was here for the fucking black and speed, man. I could have done with all black and speed. I would have prefer, you know, that sort of shit, uh, like the title track here, F O A D I F. That track's fucking great. Pure black and speed, Mayhemic Black Fire. Uh, what was the other one here? Yeah, Black Heavy Metal Punk in Hell. That's more my kind of shit. That was the stuff that I was really looking forward to. But still, I would say this is good quality shit when it is delivering the black and speed. I'm not too sure why the band felt the need to throw in those other tracks. They're kind of spread out. I think there might be a third one in here that's like that. But for me, kind of threw off the vibe of the whole thing. But when it's doing its black and speed thing, the thing that you want when you're looking at that cover, it's fucking badass. That was just the shit that I was looking for. And that's what made me pull the trigger on this thing. So there's some moments of what I would say is kind of let down. But when it's doing its black and speed thing, it's really fucking good, man. I would definitely recommend checking this out. And I've also listened to the band's second full-length album I can't recall the name of off the top of my head. But it's pretty fucking good, too. It's just, I could do without that. And I, it just makes me think, because I've seen some bands do this sort of thing where they have the good edgy shit, but they have a couple of those kind of lamer tracks, those kind of softer tracks, the kind of crowd-pleaser. Oh, even the ladies in the crowd will enjoy this one. Though, how many ladies are going to the bath and they fuck off and die in fire show? I'm not entirely sure. But... Uh, those are on there. They're just not my cup of tea. What else can I say? Giving you a fair fucking review here. Second thing I got is absolutely my cup of tea. This one I shared on the community page. Fucking Gotthammer with G 
God Slaying Sonic Barbarism. God Hammer here is a Canadian band. You know, they they do some real good fucking war metal out of Canada. This one definitely uh, fits into that camp of stellar fucking war metal from Canuckistan. This is the band's first demo released just last year in 2023. It is pure fucking war metal, man. And it lives up to its title. And again, once again, we find ourselves confronted with a release that reminds us why we love this genre. Because that's how you name a fucking war metal demo. And this is how a goddamn war metal release is supposed to sound. This is heavy, heavy, heavy of the ass stomping variety that uh, that I've just come to love. And I think most of us who love this genre love it for that reason. It was also pointed out because uh, they got these anti-peace symbols all over it. They don't get more war metal than that. This shit just like fucking obliterates hippies. You ever seen Terminator 2? You know, when Sarah Connor's, Sarah Connor's having that fucking dream and, like, the nukes are going off and she's holding onto the fence and blah, doing all that shit. That's what this shit does to hippies. God slaying. Fucking awesome. And it's stomping goddamn war metal. And there, if, if it needed to be said, there ain't no fucking sing-alongs on this one. There's no big chords. Yeah, let's all, let's have a ballad. Ain't no sing-alongs on this son of a bitch. This shit will have you pissing blood in the morning. And that's what I want for my war metal, man. An absolute must, I would say, for fans of the genre. I've been trying to get my hands on this for a while. I've listened to it several times. It's it it struck me that this was older. It see, I've I've become so familiar with this release that it felt like it was much older. This thing's only a year old. But uh, yeah, if I had to uh, choose off of this, my favorite track I would say is definitely the fifth track on here, "Sulfuric Throne of Sodom." That thing is fucking awesome, man. Uh, that one, that riff actually reminds me of uh, Cannibal Corpse a bit. I, I think it's the "I Come Blood" riff. It kind of, it just has that real frantic shit, but it goes straight into fucking war metal. It's not a goddamn Cannibal Corpse knockoff. But I will also give mention to the second, or uh, yeah, the first real track after the intro, Black Blood Ejaculation. That thing is fucking great. The title track, God Slaying Sonic Barbarism. Again, that's the, that's the type of shit I want in my war metal. God Slaying Sonic Barbarism. That's how you write fucking war metal, man. Mocking the Nazarene's great. It, really, everything on here, once it gets going... It doesn't really slow down or stop. It doesn't really have much in terms of breakdowns either. It pretty much stays the course and just stays in ass-kicking, ass-stomping, pummel your fucking brains mode once it gets going. And uh, yeah, help. I'm, I'm all about not just heavy shit, but good blasphemous shit. You know, mocking the Nazarene, perversion in heaven, desecration of the purity. In the ruins of Christendom is the kind of just outro that's just fucking noise. Great heavy shit, man. I, again, I wake up in the morning, especially on like early shifts. I love doing this. Make myself a cup of hot, black ass dark roast coffee. Don't put fucking nothing in there. Don't even drop an ice cube in there to cool it off. Dark roast coffee. Drink that shit fucking black and blast the old eardrums with some shit like this, man. This thing is fucking great. If I can get my hands on the band's latest release, which is a, an EP of theirs. I want to, but for some damn reason, it is only digital, but it's only been out for like a month, so I will give them a little bit of time on that. I know with the Infernal Occult guys, I had one of their band members after that review, they hit me up and they were like, look, the thing's new, we have physical copies coming, man, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they will do the same, man, because that that, that sort of shit, this, this awesome fucking war metal, I need to have it on the rack, man. It's, it's, it's got to sit back here. I got to be able to take it and toss it into the fucking CD player in the car and just jam this shit. I'll jam it. Everybody else in town will jam it while I'm fucking commuting to work or whatever because that sort of shit just... It, it, you want to talk about, you know, there's this old saying, maybe it might be a Texas thing, I don't know. It's probably an American thing, at least. When you drink and you get drunk, you feel 10 foot tall and bulletproof. That's the whole saying. That's what fucking war metal does. War metal just... It gives you that fucking feeling of like, dude, I can pick up a city bus and throw that shit across the fucking highway. That's what I want for my war metal, man. Again, shit will have you pissing blood in the morning. If you guys have heard either of these releases, Baphomet with F-O-A-D-I-F. Again, I'm assuming fuck off and die in fire. It sounds cooler anyways. Or God Hammer's God Sling Sonic Barbarism demo. If you guys are familiar with either of these, let me know down below. Again, always looking forward to more recommendations. People recommend me shit all the time, and a lot of it's really fucking good. So feel free to do that down below. 
But that's all I got for this one, dudes. Until the next one, keep it goddamn heavy. Keep it fucking mean and offensive. Go fucking God slay with some sonic barbarism, goddammit. Till the next one, I'll see all you sons of bitches later.